M is a dog. I, I'm here to steal. I'm here to steal M from you, uh, BB. I, I'm sorry. I just. No, 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 no. Well, you can have her afterwards, but uh, yeah, I'm, yeah. I hope that's cool. I hope that's cool with you. Yeah. Yeah. M, you here? Did she leave? <laughs> I think she. I think she walked away. She threw her phone away. Up, oh, up. Oh. Has she left? Up. Oh, wait. Hello. Oh, there you go. Now we can hear her. Shit, I've been trying to talk for five minutes. <laughs> Oh, hey, chat. Can you guys hear me now? Hi. What's up, chat? How are you guys doing? I'm not sure if I'm going to be live for very long. This might be like a 30... No, maybe at least an hour. I'm not planning on being live for super long. Because I... I have... Oh, my God, chat. I miss you guys so much. But, like, I've been away just hanging out with people IRL. It's been a nice break, to be honest. But... Man, the driving I've had to do for the last couple days has been fucking just nuts, dude. Because obviously gas prices are insanely up right now, right? Hold on, I gotta tell everyone. This is gonna be like a storytelling stream of shit that I've done in the last fucking two weeks of me being utterly stupid. Um, relating to the entire trips, if you guys, you know, know and kept up with me on, you know, Twitter, Instagram, you guys know that I was hanging out with my friends, which I'm also gonna be, um, that's why I'm leaving today. I'm gonna be hanging out with a friend. Uh, on her stream, so if you guys pull up to Honey Bell's stream today, you guys might be able to see me there. But I mean, I am I am pretty far away, so I'm gonna be doing that. Yeah, I've just been seeing all my friends like this week. That's one of the cooler things about being in Cali. It's like a lot of people actually live in Cali, surprisingly. I miss you guys so much, chat. There's so much I have to update you guys with. Dog, I hate androids so much with my life, man. If I could stand for one thing, it's that androids are the shittiest phones, but also one of the best. I, I'm kind of like on the fence about how I feel about them. I genuinely think they're the bane of my fucking existence as a content creator though, very honestly. And yes, if you guys were here at the very beginning of stream, I didn't realize that you guys can hear rhyme. I was just on a 
call with my friends earlier this morning. And didn't realize that you guys could hear them and not me. God, I'm so awkward with selfies, man. This is terrible. How does one even take pictures anymore, dude? How do you even create content anymore, man? I took the most catfishy fucking selfie of my life right now. I don't have blue eyes, but this filter makes me look like a fucking e-girl. I'm going for it, posting it on Instagram. Now. Okay, you guys have an updated selfie, but I mean, you guys are gonna see how I look in like five seconds anyway. All right, looks like everything's good. Solid, I just put the camera in front of my face and never looked back. Felt that. Felt that. Oh my god, hold on. Let me turn on my lights in the back. Alright, chat. It looks like it's time. I have everything set up. Ah, life is good. Alright. Got my starting soon screen. And it's a go. Hi, chat. Welcome in. Dink Donk Streamer is live. Dink Donk Streamer is live. Hi, chat. Welcome into the stream. How are you guys doing? Hi. Hi, hi, hi. And if you guys notice, my kittens are back in this room. It's amazing. Dink Donk Streamers Live. Yeah, chat, did you guys know that you guys now have new emotes? You guys were like, man, BB Smalls is gone for so long. I wonder what kind of content she's going to be. I just brought you guys new fucking emotes. I made those shits myself. I made it myself and it's it's been a great time, dude. So you guys now have five new animated emotes. You guys now have all this other shit. It's gonna be amazing. So I hope, yeah. I actually drew them on Discord with um, my community one time. Hi there, Sam, uh, Sano. Welcome into the stream. How are you today? And yeah, I had to, I had to give us some new emotes because I didn't realize that I had like 30 emote slots that I've never used chat. So here we go. You guys now have new emotes, you know, the Pepegees, the Copiums, Pepega, but you know, BB Smalls. So that's gonna be super tight because you guys can use that more and you guys don't have to, I don't know, use the fucking BTTV ones. Cause I realized, I'm like, okay, I taught my chat how to use BTTV emotes and you guys barely use them. And I'm like, all right, all right, all right. It looks like I have a, you know, a really new age Twitch community who does not use BTTV emotes much. And you got, when I say Drake's, you guys are literally typing in lowercase d r a k k e s, and I'm like, dog, you like, you guys understand what I mean? When I say like Sag, you guys don't hit me with the Sag. You guys just go, oh, that's 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 Sag. And I'm just, just like, guys, please, we can we can do better than that. So I realized, if you guys cannot, for the life of you, use BTTV emotes, 9TV, or anything else, dude. I want you guys to understand that there is a better way and there's a better hope for you on betterhelp.com. With that being said, why don't you go ahead and subscribe now so you can go ahead not to better help, but to me, baby smalls, because we have fantastic new emotes, you guys. Honestly, personally, I'd go ahead and click that prime if you guys happen to have it. And also, did you guys know, I'm gonna have a sub goal because my friends and I were on call last night and it was me, Thunder, Cinna, and Hom, I think. And we were just on the call for hours. It's like, not, not really like quietly, but we were just kind of like doing our own things and we would share memes with each other and shit. And Thunder brings up this like old video that he had like a long time ago. And it kind of made me want, holy shit, C 
Steven, thank you for gifting out five subs, dude. I appreciate you. Guys, guys, thank you, thank you. Holy shit, people flower. Hold on, hold on, let me, let me give you a flower, Steven. People flower. Thank you, dude. Can we get some people flowers for Steven, man? And also pet the mod when you guys can, please. He's amazing. Oh my god, my nightbot is out of fucking... What is that? Emotes. It's not a sub anymore. My bots aren't even subbed to me. Fucking Sag. There it is. Okay, okay, chat. When I say people flower, you type in P-E-E-P-O, capital the F-L-O-W-E-R. Because if you don't, it doesn't register as a thing. Also, there you go. You guys are, you guys are smart. You guys get this. You guys get this. Thank you, Steven. I appreciate you. Anyway, so I was on the call with my friends last night, and they... <sighs> Thunder showed me this video, and I was like, okay, that's crazy. You made videos eight years ago. I think my first video uploaded on my channel was around, like, 2009, 2010, 2011. So I was like, okay, what I'm gonna need to do now is I'm going to be strong enough, because I went in ahead and just scavenged through all of Thunder's old videos. And I'm like, it wouldn't be fair if I just went ahead and scavenged through all your old videos, right? And it wouldn't be fair if I didn't show you any of mine. But I was like, the thing is, mine are either all deleted and all, or, uh, all archived. So I went ahead and found probably a handful of videos and I sent it to the group last night. And I realized, holy shit. This is absolutely probably the worst fucking thing to actually legitimately happen to me because I see it and I didn't realize I had embarrassing videos, but I have embarrassing videos on my YouTube channel. They are ridiculous, absolutely terrible, private, so no one can see them, but they're still there. But I shared it to my friends last night and they're like, BB, you don't, un Cinna goes, you don't understand BB. If you did this shit and posted this on Twitter, you would this tweet would go so hard she she goes you need to show everyone this and i was like well i'm not gonna do that for free because what the fuck is that gonna give me embarrassment humiliation and that's when thunder goes this needs to be a sub goal and i'm like you know you kind of spitting so chat we now have a good new sub oh hey cinna what's up dude Flip. what what's up do a sub goal, do a sub goal i'm doing i'm doing the sub goal i'm gonna do it hey chat okay i'm, not, I'm chat Listen, all I'm gonna say is there's never been a video where more where I was like, there needs to be a fucking sub goal for this video. This video would bang. It's so funny. It's like peak BV Smalls. I hate to say peak BV, but I'm just gonna peaked. call it like it is. It's I peaked in peak. 2009. <laughs> you peaked. You peaked. Your content yeah, is cool now, but nothing ever, nothing ever nothing will come compare. close to whatever the fuck that no. was. So there chat, you go, chat. You Chat, I highly recommend. I need to I make this a sub goal, man. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn that on. Uh, as for Cinna, Thunder would agree and vouch as well, and Hom would as well. So they've seen this video. They've seen this to the fucking beginning to the end. Mm -hmm. And we've all cringed together last night. I want you guys to understand that we were all just trembling. So for that reason, you guys should definitely drop some subs. We're gonna get a goal. We're gonna get a goal. Yeah, I'm gonna tell my chat about this goal. Too, Thanks. Dude. I wanna see the post. You on want Twitter. that posted on Twitter? You really Honestly, hate me that much, Cinna? You don't understand how much chat. I also left my computer on because she gave us the link, but then she was gonna um, but then she was gonna uh, what's it called? Uh, private it again. And Thunder Hobby I all said we were gonna leave our computers on with that link open just so it would never go away. <laughs> so for the sake really of good. that, because you know I did not want them to have this fucking link. But then they are also committed to leaving their PCs on for like an eternity, eight years. And I'm just like, you know, I'm going to go ahead and just gift them this love because I love my friends so much. No matter how much they bully me, I'm going to go ahead and gift them this. So, yeah, I mean, obviously, Cinna, Cinna, deserve, <laughs> Cinna deserves the extra love because if you guys didn't know, uh, I've been cooking her for like six months, half a year. Um, and you guys believe my fucking life for whatever fucking reason. You guys genuinely thought Cinna was like three foot tall. Even even if they didn't, it's crazy crazy to me that chat i want you to know this is where bb and i have fucking beef because she showed up we, i've told this in my chat but dead serious she showed up 
And I didn't even say hi to her when I first saw her. I was speechless and I turned away because I was literally, I felt the anger in my blood rise when I said, I know this motherfucker did not talk shit to me for six fucking months to show up and be three foot five. <laughs> I actually, yeah. I actually uh, think I recorded the the moment that you, oh, you saw me. I have a, I had my video to my chest so I could see, but this oh. is like shitty Android quality, so I don't know if you can like see this. I'm see. just, I'm just gonna share this. Wait, hold on. Wait, whoa, fuck! I've done fucked this whole thing up. There you go. I'll see just play. You, can you share your screen so I can yeah, see it? Yeah. Let no? me just go ahead and share it to you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I can there it is. Okay. It's sharing. I'm, it's gonna cut off at like, because the rest of it is just like me saying hi to you guys and stuff, but it's the yeah, first 10 seconds of like when you see me and you literally hesitate to give me a hug and you just walk away, dude. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going I'm up to sit on, I'm walking her, I'm walking hey, to her, and I'm like, hey, hey my friends are here. <laughs> but you see me walk away. Yeah. You see me walk away. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's, it's, <laughs> it's set up I, literally just. <laughs> I, I was so pissed. What? I was so pissed, chat. <laughs> I'm like, what? And then she proceeds what? to like, not, not get close and you back off. Dog, you're like, mm. <laughs> I'm not doing this. And then you, and then what you. What the fuck is it, Sena? Yeah, and she just keeps laughing at me, dude. Yeah, that oh, was. Then you're, yeah, then you're like right all up in my boob, thanks. <laughs> Literally boob height. Chat. Chat, if you guys didn't know, I'm actually here. titty height to everybody. In, yeah, in that room. That she basically could motorboat me, which I is could true. motorboat she... anyone, so honestly, I'm a good time chat. I want you My guys to know My titties were tittying that day, so that's that. <laughs> hey, that's Chad, video, did actually. you guys see how cool her outfit was that day? She looked the hell so up. fire. She looked so good. Um, I was so pissed. <laughs> I was so pissed. That's Thunder's fault, too. <laughs> Wait, did you tell your chat about this outfit and how you came to wear it instead of the one that you posted on your Twitter yesterday? I wanted to wear a regular ass outfit and I couldn't. Yeah, dude. Uh, because Thunder, I showed Thunder this outfit. Thunder said, wear that one. And I said, no, I wanted to wear this shirt that you're seeing on the screen. <laughs> and Thunder said, no, don't wear this shirt. Wear the other shirt. I was so fucking pissed I listened. Dude, I'm, I'm so like pissed. looking at this shirt and it looks so good. This would have went so hard. Like if um, you just I'm, walked I'm around saying, San Diego and like- Maybe I know. Look, I dude, know, we dude. also went I to know. like a cannibal museum, like, and you were wearing like skulls on that. I was like, dude, that would have been so sick. It would have been chill as fuck. I agree. Yeah. So uh, this was supposedly the outfit that Cinna was gonna wear that day, but instead she decided to go full '70s mom. Um, yeah. Brown pants, cardigan. Honestly, really goaded fit. The shoes kind of pull it off. <laughs> not gonna lie. Um. Yeah. Wait. <laughs> Cinna with glasses made me physically bark. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> what's happening to me? Bark! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I oh look like God. a 70s mother. But that's was, Thunder's fault. This, Yeah, so Cinna had good Wi-Fi signal all of San Diego. Um, yeah. I kind of kept the low bar, and uh, Rhyme kind of kept the higher bar. So there we are, and there they are. The <laughs> good old 30 years of marriage right there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh yeah, if you guys didn't know, you know, um, I, just to disclaim, it is a, it is a joke, but Cinna and oh, Thunder yeah. are married for 30 years. They've been married for 30 years. Chat, chat, for context, Thunder slept on the couch of my Airbnb because I was like, you can just stay with me because there's no point in him getting a separate Airbnb and well, like they have to pick both of us up. So I let him sleep on the couch and I was laughing because I said, that's what like 30 year old marriage couples do where like. They have the husband sleep on the couch or whatever, and the wife sleeps in the other room, and then they just don't talk. That is literally what happened. Thunder and I would just awkwardly go to sleep, and I'd be like, "All right, good night, Thunder." And then I'd go lay down in the room, and Thunder would be Thunder would be on the fucking couch. <laughs> the, the the bless you thing is probably my favorite thing. It's like bless oh, yeah. you. Oh yeah, yeah. Chat, Thunder so. sneezed forty five minutes into us going to bed, uh, and he didn't know I was still awake. So Thunder sneezed, and I go bless you, and Thunder's like, "Go to sleep." <laughs> very funny. Yeah, so uh, here's Thunder at his peak. If you guys haven't noticed, he's actually thriving right here, dude. Like mm -hmm. this is this is a solid, probably maybe even better than like better than a four. Actually, better than a three for sure. This might be a four point five Thunderface. He mm -hmm. looks he looks genuinely happy here, chat. If you guys have not seen him, um, but yeah. So I don't think you actually. I was on your stream when you were talking about like what happened. 
I don't think you got to uh, like my day, right? Because you vlogged that entire day. Yeah, I I told some story yesterday. Mm -hmm. I didn't tell all of them. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was gonna say, so I'm gonna pick up where Senna left off because I think you kind of stopped at like the Disneyland part and then everything that happened in between, and then mm -hmm. like the next day. If you guys want, you guys should subscribe to Senna because she's gonna drop like a fire video of uh, the vlog. Right. Fire's debatable, but yeah. You said yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. It's a statement fact. It's a statement and a fact chat that Senna's gonna drop like the most fire vlog of all time, man. I didn't even know Senna did vlogs, but she. This is gonna be a fucking banger vlog. BB, you got a drink, PD well, shirt. Well, that's debatable. We'll see. Yeah, you there enjoy it is. your stream, BB. I'll be back. Thanks, dude. I might, I might stop in in a second. I'll be back. Oh no, you're you good. You're enjoy. good. You're good. Tell Thanks. some fire stories. Chat, <laughs> listen good. to these stories because. Oh, funny. I'm gonna tell them about probably like the Disneyland one. You know where I couldn't yeah. make that. I'm yeah, you can tell. You can tell whatever. Thunder also said that yesterday. He goes, I don't want to tell too much in case in your video. I was like, they'll still watch it. So oh tell no, literally yeah. whatever story. Okay, I, I mean. I'm gonna- there's a lot of stuff that happened on my end that had nothing to do with you guys. So, like, the Disneyland thing, and as well yeah, as tell, the night. Yeah, go ahead and tell, tell your- mm-hmm. Tell so, that story. Alright, thanks, Sina. I'll let you Bye. do your thing. Bye, Sina. Bye! Okay, so, chat. First thing in the morning, right? I went to go hang out with my friends. Um, and if you guys didn't already know this, like, I already hung out with my friends, like, not not the not these guys, but like a few of my other friends, like literally a couple days before. So I had like no idea that, you know, well, honestly, I knew that they were going to come, but I didn't know what was going to happen. I didn't know if I was going to be hanging out with Cinna, Rhyme and Thunder for like two days or one day, because here's the fucking stupid situation chat, right? I wanted to go to Disneyland as well. They had told me way before everything like when Cinna was coming here she was like okay like BB I, I'm planning to go to Disneyland would you want to come with me and I'm just gonna go ahead and share one screenshot with you guys and I hope you guys understand that this was sent on hold on let me see let me see this message from me was sent on March 3rd 2022 so this was this was last week when we were all planning for it because Cinna's trip um to like hang out with us was actually like completely like spontaneous because she was supposed to come down here and do like business stuff right but what ended up happening was it didn't happen all the way through so we just ended up hanging out and it was super fun but they went to disneyland and you're like well why didn't bb go if she was there the day after okay i'm gonna tell you guys the story called i'm a fucking dumbass Right, so Cinna tells me March 3rd, last week, uh, and she's like, hey, BB, would you want to go? And I'm like, yeah, dude, I want to go. Let me look up the tickets right now. I pull up the tickets, and I'm just like, crazy. Like, I see that Wednesday is available, Monday is available, but Tuesday is not available. She was like, yeah, BB, we're going to go on Tuesday. And then I'm like, yeah, Tuesday's. Tuesday's gone, man. Like, I can go Wednesday or Monday, but I can't go Tuesday. And then I did not look at this any longer. Hit go live on, I think, Monday. I went live on Monday, and then eight hours pass. Eight hours pass, and I did not check Cinna's DMs or anything like that, right? And then I go back in, and Cinna goes, BB, that's, that's Tuesday. The free day is Tuesday. And I'm like. It's Tuesday. So I go hurry the fuck back. I run back to Disneyland.com. I get on the website. I'm like, let me go ahead and double check, right? I'm going to go ahead and figure out if maybe there's another way. And so here is what ends up happening next. Hold on. Because I took so fucking long, this is what happened eight hours later. And I go, Cinna, it's gone. And then she goes, oh my God, maybe like the next couple days or something, something's gonna free up, maybe. I was like, I'm an idiot, it's fucking gone. And she goes, well, let me go try to figure something out. Maybe I'll ask Dino, maybe like we'll figure something out. I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna check. So every day from that day on, from March 3rd up until... Disneyland day when we went when they went on Tuesday this week I was refreshing the shit out of that at least maybe like 
five times a day in the morning for sure in the afternoon for sure at night for sure and then sometimes in between during snack times and shit i'm like refresh refresh i have to go i want to go i haven't been to disneyland since 2014 i need to go and also my friends haven't gone ever so this is gonna be first time i want to see like their virginities from disney break man so i wanted to go through and hang out but so here's what happened cinna messages me again and she gets she, and again no tickets we're waiting, we're waiting, we're waiting again. And then, here's the stupid shit that happened. I think this happened over text, so I don't actually have the screenshots for this. But what ends up happening is, I go, shit, I think I, think I might have a free ticket. And then I go, or not a free ticket, but you know, I have a ticket. I screenshot it and I send it to Cinna. I was like, I think, I think we're good. And then she goes, BB, that's a three day pass. And I'm like, what do you mean? So I look, and it does say it's a three-day thing. They're, they're like, we're only going to be here on Tuesday. Why do, you need to, why do you need to go for three days? And I'm just like, oh, well, shit. Let me, let me go and double check. So I go, and I make sure that, you know, I, I go on the website correctly. It's not the three-day one. They're like, BB, we're doing the park hopper, not the three-day one. And we're doing, well, the park hopper one day. That one. And then I double check. Because because apparently that same day, Rhyme tells Cinna that, Whatever the fuck BB is doing, I'm looking at the tickets right now, and they're right there. They're literally right there. The one that she's been looking for this entire time has always been available. Because she's not looking at the park hopper that's for one day. Apparently the entire time, I was looking for the single fucking Disneyland pass that was for three fucking days. And I go, let me double check. And this is again. I'm out of town because I'm hanging out with my friends Maysubi, Spooky, and like a few other people, right? I'm, I'm, out, I'm out of town. So I didn't get to respond right away, but I canonly just don't fucking respond for some fucking reason. Like, I'm just so shitty at texting. So, Cinna messages me at like 3. I get back to that fucking message. She said, if you message me within the next 10 minutes, we're going to get this ticket for you so you don't have to worry about this. And I go, all right, all right, all right, all right. At 10. At 10. At 10 p.m. at night. When Cinna sent the message at 3.30 p.m. And she said, if you message me back in 10 minutes. I responded to her at 10. And I said, I think, I think that I don't, I, I don't think I can get it now. And she goes, yeah, because I screenshot it and I sent it back to her. And I'm just like, that thing that you're talking about is completely gone now. And I'm like, oh. And this happened, I think, on Sunday. So, basically, from March 3rd up until Sunday night, the tickets that I was waiting for were always the wrong ones. So, I was refreshing every fucking day because it's, it was a favorited tab. So, I just clicked on the tab and then I refreshed on it and I refreshed on it. But I didn't realize that the tab was wrong the entire time. The entire time. I couldn't tell you guys because, like, I didn't know if it was going to be a secret. I think it was a secret, like, for them to show up. So I couldn't tell you guys. But I went live and I'm just like... <laughs> I was... This was Monday. And I just went live and played Elden Ring. And I'm like, life is fine. Life is... We're good. We're good. And I just gamed for, like, eight hours. And we're solid. So that's what happened for Tuesday. And then they're like, that's fine. That's fine. Let's just... Let's just hang out on Wednesday. And I'm like, all right, cool, tight. Wednesday happens. And then as I'm driving, right, I fill up my car because here's the crazy thing, chat. Gas in California has spiked the fuck up. Anywhere in Cali, you will not go lower than I think $4.30, even in the cheaper areas. I don't think I've seen it any lower than $4.30 for sure. At least in like, you know, the areas where it's not so expensive. Now you go to bigger cities, it does not drop below $5. $5.50 in, in like, just not even like massive cities. So when I went past LA, went to San Diego, the basic gas prices chat were I think like $5.80. It was nearly $6 for a gallon of gas. It was nearly $6. So I want you to understand and hold on to that thought because I will go ahead and tell you about my whole day 
and then I will tell you the finisher about this entire thing. But keep that in the back of your mind, right? Cool. I love my friends because they're amazing and I didn't have to drive as much because I was already driving about a few hours that day. Because to get to where I'm at, to where they're at, it takes a handful of hours. It's not just a couple hours, it's a few hours. So I went ahead and I was driving there perfectly fine. My gas is chilling at above half. I'm like, okay, it's, it's gonna take me maybe like, maybe two fifths, two to three fifths, three fifths, maybe, if anything, 2.5 fifths of my gas to get from where I'm at to there, where they're at. My brain goes, logically, I will, no, I will not need any more gas until later on when I drive back. Cool, cool. So I didn't drive at all throughout the entire time. We had a wonderful time, by the way, chat. If, like we went, we did a lot of different things, uh, but I want you guys to watch Sina's video to get more of the context for things. I know like Sina says that I can like show you guys whatever, but I think Sina has better footage of like everything because I try to take videos from my shitty Android quality phone and there's just no fucking way that it would capture anything that I want to. So I'm gonna do my fucking best to absolutely um, show as minimal as possible, but also kind of like show things from my POV. But before I go on any longer, I just remember chat, I'm gonna add the sub goal right now because Cinna did talk it up and I, and this is gonna be, this is gonna be one of the most humiliating things for me. Like if you guys thought that I was already cringy, weird and unfunny, right i want you guys to think about that because this video was posted in 2009 i should have burned all the footage of me ever existing at the age of like 14 or 15 but imagine a 14 or 15 year old as a youtuber okay with my same personality me so i want you guys to understand and understand that premise there is a video of me that exists on the internet that my friends have seen so once we hit our sub goal i will post that on the internet and you guys can have a fucking field day but first thing that I need to do is figure out how to fucking add a sub goal to OBS. Chat, I'm not I'm not gonna lie, man. Okay. Here's here's how I'm gonna track the sub goals manually. Okay, we're gonna hope for I think if we hit 500 subs ever. Ever. I'm not gonna put a limit to this. I don't even know where we're at. Either 500 or 400 depending. But this has to be a big enough sub goal, man. I'm not posting this shit on the internet for cheap, for fucking cheap, man. I am not gonna do that. This video is the bane of my existence. And if anyone ever finds out that this fucking video is just on the internet, I would absolutely just hate my life. So we are currently at, shit chat, if you guys really, really wanted to see this, go ahead. We are currently at 285. Oh yeah, 285 subs. So if you really, if you guys really fucking cared and you really hate me that much, treat yourself, dude. Treat yourself. Um, 300 subs. <laughs> 300 subs. But this is going to be the most embarrassing video to exist. And I was already surprised that some of my pictures went viral, right? Because Not, not even viral, but like even predominantly got any kind of stuff. Oh shit, Cinna, thank you so much for the resub, dude. What the fuck? Seven months. Damn, I've been bullying you for six months, but I've known you for seven. That's an amazing friendship, dude. Um, but anyway, chat, I'm not gonna put my shit out there for free or for cheap at all. There is no way you're gonna convince me to do that. And I'm not dropping this. Maybe, maybe down the road, but if you guys truly, really wanted this, 500. I, we, we need to hit 500, okay? That's, that's all it. That's all it. And we got our community painting stream. Hell yeah, chat. We're going to start planning for that soon. I'm going to make sure that we maybe get like a submission form out to if you want to participate. We're going to go ahead and have a stream. I'm going to Bob Ross this shit out. And uh, my community can come with me on stream. And we're going to paint together. Any medium of any sort as well. I'm not going to fucking shit on you because you use digital art. If you guys use digital art and you guys don't have a canvas, if you're poor like me, treat yourself to using digital art. Anyway. So, let me continue my story now, chat. Let me continue my story. Okay, so, I pull up there in the morning, and my friends are amazing. You guys see it, right? We get coffee, we get food, and we go do a bunch of fun stuff. A lot of fun stuff, in which, like I said, you're gonna see on Cinna's video. I think the only thing that I might be able to, like, show you guys is, like, a few pictures. Yeah, yeah, I'll show you guys pictures and stuff, in which I feel like, I feel like I don't have any like good videos either. 
There's this one video of Thunder oh. just. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> you hear my voice, but this is this is a very three second clip of me just. This, this, this sums up about a lot of stuff that happened. <laughs> Hold on, chat. I have to drop this off. This is a good picture. <laughs> Thunder shot. All right, I have to, I have to just, I have to drop this really quick. I have to let everybody know. Hold on, where is that under my downloads? <laughs> I don't know what it is, man. Something about that picture just speaks to me. Speaks to me, man. Speaks to me. Anyway, Thunder looks like a thwomp. <laughs> um, anyway, chap. So we, we go to like, a park if you guys know which park in San, uh, San Diego it's like this big ass place and uh, we're walking around Balboa really pretty museums and stuff around and later on we play some escape games if you guys know uh, who Drumsy is uh, we were playing which I was I was really surprised because this was probably I've done a few like escape rooms in my life right chat I've done a few escape rooms and this was probably one of the hardest escape rooms I've ever done. Also, I show this picture because this is the most accurate. Uni, I'm gonna go ahead and... Oh my god. Shout out to Uni. You guys don't understand. Uni saved my life in the last couple days. I, I think I'm gonna speed run this story really quick. So that we can talk about how Uni is literally my lord and savior. I want you guys to know. Anyway, so that's me being taller than Rhyme, Kayla... Thunder and Drumsy. Honestly, personally, I feel like this is the most manga accurate representation that you could have of me. Crazy, right? Also, can we talk about something really quick? Something really quick. I'm gonna backtrack a little bit. Right, so I met up with my friends. This is the first picture that I take I with Cinna. Like Steven, thank you for gifting a sub to Uni, dude. I appreciate you, man. Thank you. So, I met up with Cinna. And Senna, I feel like I've been cooking for half a year. It was honestly, chat, it was your guys' fault. Someone dropped a short picture. I think it might have been Senna deleted or something. Someone did, right? Someone posted a picture of Senna being this tall compared to her door. I went ahead and I knew if I was going to be friends with this girl for a long time, I'm going to ride this wave for as long as possible of bullying the shit out of her so that people don't actually find out how tall I am. And my time will come when I get cooked. That's fine. I'm going to wait that out. But for now, we're going to wait and blame everything on Cinna. Everything. I'm going to go ahead. So the fire and the fuel to the flame. I went ahead and just let everybody know. Aha, Cinna, you're so short. Cinna never clapped back because she just thought that we were the same height. And even though I do say this every fucking stream chat, my height has always been in my bio. Always has been in my bio. So for anyone to fucking be like, she's that small, I'm just gonna go ahead and either call it that you are a Dragon Ball fan and you don't fucking read, or, or hear me out, you just did not understand how tall heights even are. You're just like, huh? My entire personality revolves around putting my Tinder bio as six foot tall. Never will I actually stand to a dude that's actually six foot tall because that's gonna out me as a five nine piece of shit. But hear me out. For those of you who are five tens, five elevens, and you've claimed to be six foot, you have just destroyed yourselves and outed yourselves because hear me out, Rhyme is six foot four. Thunder is six foot two. What happens when you literally compare two people that are legitimately six foot to someone that is four fucking seven? What's gonna fucking happen? What's gonna fucking happen, chat? Obviously, there's going to be a height difference. Obviously. But here's what you guys did fail to fucking understand. What you guys fail to understand is that me and Cinna are not that different, obviously. Look, look at this. I'm slightly just a little taller than her, 
Um, she's not really that short. So for those of you guys who are saying like, oh, like BB's kind of short. Here's a side to side comparison. This is a side to side comparison. This is unedited, completely raw image, completely just me, authentic and raw. This is it. See, even like I got the memo, Drumsy got the memo, this one. It's just true authentic. This is truly what it looks like to be four foot seven chat. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I like the boards fusing together between her legs. Yeah, yeah, that was a cool new feature that day when I walked through, right? So when I walked through that day, I was like, man, the boards are kind of like sticking together. That's kind of weird. I thought that was weird too, man, personally. Also, Lara's high. Why is Sinner taller than you in that pic? Uh, so my height fluctuates. You know, call me Mrs. Incredible because I kind of like to flex around. Stretch. Just doing all that and sometimes I just... Sometimes. Sometimes. So, anyway, chat. Basically, get that all out of your head. Because honestly, four foot seven is the superior height towards everything. Towards everything, man. This is a perfect singular raising the bar type shit, honestly. Also, I don't know why, but after staring at this picture for so long, I just want someone to fucking explain why there is a massive gap between me and Cinna. I just thought everyone was also just this much spaced apart. And as someone who has like fixation on shit like this, I was extremely bothered to not have asked for a second picture because there is a massive gap right here in which does not exist anywhere else. And there's so many things wrong with this pic. Uh, also, if you guys did not understand, uh, the picture in the back is referencing what can never happen to a woman. So we are standing in front of a golden opportunity that cannot happen to any of us. So here we go. We have the fountain. Uh, yes, exactly. So we wanted to go ahead and experience it because we could never experience it ourselves. So we went up to it very closely, stood in front of it, and then went ahead and took a picture on this commemorated moment in which none of us could ever fucking feel in our lives. So there we go. We chose this one specific spot for that reason. Dino is tall as fuck. It's scary. It's, he's 6'4". He's 6'4". Have you guys never met people that are six foot four? Thunder doesn't have his thumbs up. Oh my god, someone actually made a really funny comment on this tweet. Someone actually made a hilarious fucking comment on this tweet. I think it was like... I don't know where it's at. I definitely liked it, but I like a lot of things. Someone said something along the lines of, um... What's it? Oh yeah, basically how... He looks like a character that's still selecting while all of us have already chosen a skin. So we're just like stanced up and ready while he's like still in character selection and choosing the skin of his choice. And he's like, hmm, blue, hmm, red, blue. And that's like it. <laughs> that's a weird thing, Lamau. He doesn't look 6'4". No, here's the problem. You guys have met so many people that lie about being 6'4". Who lie just straight up in your face. And they're just like, come on, baby. You read my Tinder bio. I'm six foot five. Obviously, you know what it's like to be someone as tall as me. You like to be with me. You hang out with me. Because my entire personality revolves around me being fucking six foot five, even though I'm 5'11". Anyway, because of me being around Lotus, I think I'm used to how tall six foot is. Yeah, and also, Uni is a minority of the Filipino population because I was yesterday years old finding out how tall are Filipino women, right? On average, how tall? And then I realize that, God damn, we as a civilization is just small. So if you're going to go ahead and make fun of me, at this point, I'm just going to call it racism. You are not just making fun of me. You are making fun of my people. So out yourself as a racist now. Call me short. Go ahead, you racist piece of shit. On Women's History Month, aren't the, Philipp aren't the Philippines like what? I was born in the Philippines. What are you trying to say? Anyway, how dare you? How fucking dare you? Have the shortest height on average. Filipino man is five foot four. Five four. A man 
My dad was 5'2". My mom was 4'9". What the fuck do you think happens when a 5'2 man smashes a 4'9 woman? What happens? You make a 4'7 child! Granted, my sisters are actually like 4'10". One of them is 5' flat, but they're younger than me. My curse is I'm the oldest sibling out of my immediate siblings. So not only... Yeah, no, Steven, I absolutely popped out of my mother's vagina. Just kidding. That's a joke because I was a C-section baby. Dude, I was just a tumor. I wasn't even like birthed naturally. I was literally removed from my mother. They cut her open. They're like, damn, this bitch kind of crazy. Let me go ahead and just remove her from you. Go ahead, bring your life back to normal. So I came out as a four foot seven fucking massive ass baby and I stayed that way. Oh my God, Mr. Boombastic, thank you for hand. gifting a sub, dude. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Yeah, dude, came out of the womb and I was absolutely just fucking massive. They're like, damn, she's kind of tall. And I stayed that way. I just never grew. Okay, well, to be honest, chat, I had plenty of opportunities, opportunities in my life where my family's like, hey, do you want to grow? Maybe growth hormones. And me being my angsty 16-year-old self was like, why would I want to go? You guys don't like me for who I am. Like, honestly, that's really fucked up. Like, I'm just here, like, 4'7", and I'm just, like, in high school. I'm going through it. And they're like, all right, dude, like, my bad. My bad. I, I, I don't want you to feel that way. And I'm like, you guys try to change me. You guys don't accept me for who I am. Come to think about it. I, I lost opportunities for getting a raise because I decided to not get growth hormones. And they're like, BB, I want you to understand you as an adult will hate yourself. And then I'm just like, I love me. I love me for me. It makes me so unique. I'm so special. I'm a fucking unique bitch. And they're just like, look, you're going to be uniquely fucking hindered for the rest of your life if you want to do this to yourself. And I'm just like, that's fine. I'm special. I'm cool. So here I am at 25 years old, fucking yelling at my 16 year old self for not taking growth hormones because apparently they existed and they were only able to be taken at a certain period of time. And they're like, listen, baby, you are not able to take this at the age of 18 because your body is not going to take this fucking hormone at 18. They're like, if you take this at 16, you'll grow. And I'm just like, no, my boyfriend likes me for me. I like me for me. I get cast in all these cool plays because I get to play cool characters. Maybe if I go into acting, they're going to cast me as a child forever. I'm going to be bank as a child looking person. And here I am, lo and behold, not doing acting as a streamer. Fucking over the internet because you guys thought for some reason that I was five foot four. What made you guys assume that, first of all? And second of all, I'm so special anyway, you know, I'm 4'7", and I'm still this way, so chat, you guys just genuinely have to just be okay with it, because I have to, okay, and if not, you're fucking racist, that's it, I've just come to the conclusion, if you're gonna make fun of my height, I'm just gonna blatantly assume that you're racist, that's it, that's it, well, uh, you wouldn't be BB Smoke, yeah, dude, so hear me out, hear me out, chat, what, how crazy would it be, if I just happen to make some kind of fucking indicator that I was this small, like, God forbid I lie to my community about me being short, right? God forbid I lie to everybody in my life. If only there was like some indicator, maybe like if you made, if I made my username, something to may maybe kind of like show that I'm really small. Maybe like almost the size of like a baby and almost like being small fucking just all the ideas you know maybe maybe if i just did that maybe you think that com the, the internet wouldn't have lost its shit so much maybe smalls isn't small controversy it's crazy right it's almost like i tell you guys at least once a week when i say look at my description they're like how tall are you because i get up and they're just like oh my god you're like the size of like your door yeah 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 i am and they're like how tall are you i'm like look at my description i honestly say it and then I proceed to be the most satirical bitch in the world. Because at that point, I'm like, I've just answered this question so many times in my life. A outside. Now that the internet knows that I exist, they're like, damn, she's short. I want you guys to know that the one fucking tweet that I've had bang, it makes no sense. Like, can someone please explain to me why this fucking shit got 14K likes? Can someone fucking explain to me? And 
To be frank, I know why. Because for some reason, half of it is the Dragon Ball community. JRK, dog. Welcome into the stream. Thank you so much for the six months, dude. Welcome in. Howdy, BB Swole. What's up, dude? How you doing, man? I'm just explaining my shit. So hear me out. Hear me out. Half of it is the Dragon Ball franchise being just like, <laughs> you're right, we can't read. And then... You missed! Dog, what the fuck was that? <laughs> what the fuck was that? What's up, Bebop? Welcome to the stream. How are you? What the fuck was that? Uh, I had a Dragon Ball fan ask, do you want to know the funniest type of Dragon Ball co comments that I got on this fucking tweet? People were like, <laughs> obviously you can't read because that's a Yu Yu Hakusho shirt, dude. Like, obviously I can read because I, myself, typing in full fucking English right now, can see that this shirt that's written in Japanese is absolutely Yu Yu Hakusho. I would know because I'm a fan. And then, where's this fucking response? I have to find this. This. Dragon Ball fans. Guy on left is wearing a Yu Yu Hakusho shirt. Just a nitpick. The best fucking response. Buddy, you're not gonna believe this. But you can actually like more than one thing at a time. <laughs> nah, bro! Thunder had me in tears for this one! <laughs> oh god, but this was a very common comment. This is a very common comment. They're just like, I can read. Obviously, that's Yu Yu Hakusho, bro. That's obviously Yu Yu Hakusho. Anyway, CLDR. I went to hang out with my friends. We took a lot of pictures. I'm gonna go ahead and share my pictures and shit, right? Hold on, let me see. These are all... So... Let me go ahead and pull up the shit that I found. Okay, so chat. I want you guys to understand, since you guys saw those pictures of me, I want you guys to look at other pictures on the internet. So... <laughs> I think Sina took this picture. And this is a picture of Thunder. Um, taking pictures with the family. So remember when I showed you that picture of uh, Thunder giving me a thumbs up? We went to the Japanese Friendship Garden. So Thunder in the Japanese Friendship Garden, we were all just like walking around and we see that he's like gone. We're like, dude, like we zigzagged our way from here and then it goes all the way up and then you go around, right? So like, like over here is like where it U-turns and goes up on a hill. Like we're down here. But we're like, Thunder's gone. Where the fuck did he go? So the only thing that we could see, we could not see. We could not see this family. For like the longest, all that we could see was like, like this, right? So basically like we just saw, oh God, my fucking scroll, like this. And I'm just like, oh, like, it looks like he's taking pictures of like the tree or like trying to take like a selfie or something. I'm like, man, like Thunder must really like the view. And then I think Rhyme or Cinna goes, no, 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 no. Look what he's doing. <laughs> And we realized he got stuck taking pictures of like a family. So that was that was pretty golden content right there. That was amazing. And uh, also, this is this was the best day for Thunder. I posted a picture of on my Instagram of Cinna taking a picture of Thunder, but this is that first hand picture. Thunder was so happy. This was post taking that family picture. Um, after he was done with his deed, just like taking the family. And we're just like, all right, all right, cool. Let me go ahead and do that. But then we realized that's not thunder shot. So a couple seconds later, this is the actual photo. Sorry, man. I'm crying so hard. Oh God, no! This is literally moments right after, moments after that pic, that first picture was taken, and then it immediately went to this, <laughs> which he looked really happy the first time. I'm not sure what happened in between. I was definitely there, but chat, you guys know me. My brain pays attention half the fucking time, and then half the other time I'm just not paying attention. But here's that POV of Thunder looking happy and then Cinna taking the picture. Cinna, I grabbed this picture because Ma, uh, Cinna just looks like primetime mom. And this is like her college student that just graduated, right? And he's just like, he just finished walking the stage. He's taking his grad photos. His mom doesn't really have like, you know, the camera equipment or anything like that. So she has her old like fucking iPhone and stuff. All right, honey, take look at the camera. And this is, this is that scenario. 
right here. I had to, like, take this for that reason, dude. Honestly, that was amazing. Um, anyway, after we did the Japanese Friendship Garden, we did a museum, I think. Um, yeah, I think. No, museum first and then the garden. Yeah, so uh, we hashed it out and we fought a lot at the Japanese Friendship Garden. We tested our friendship and honestly, you guys are just gonna find out how that shit turned out in Sinna's video. But anyway, this is uh, one of the museums. Uh, we found out that Thunder also is a form of deity. This is just him in God form, looking above all his subjects uh, for some fucking reason. Yeah, no, I have just random Thunder pictures and also Thunder just seems to have random photos of me as well. In which, I think some of them are probably one of the most golden things, including this one right here. So I went to go visit, like, you know, the homies and stuff, and you guys know that Dino has a cat. Apparently, according to Dion, he's seen that cat before. He's hung out with this cat. And Dion goes, that cat's not big. That is not a big cat. And I'm just like... What do you fucking mean, dude? This bitch was massive. This bitch was massive. They're like, no, BB. You are fucking small. That cat is very normal. It's my torso, Uni. This bitch is my torso. It's on my torso. Yeah, it was it was very cute. It was just holding and cuddling with me, dude. It was just there. Yeah, this was this was a prime time. And also, speaking of prime time with me with animals and animal interactions, honestly. Dino's dog was also probably one of the sweetest fucking things to exist on planet Earth, man. Um, did not real. <laughs> so context with this picture, I think I posted this on my Instagram, like the the picture, because this is this is my Android phone and stuff. So I when we took this picture, right? Very cute time, very cute time, and dog was posed up and everything. I want you guys to understand that this dog is the fucking cutest thing because all dino had to say was you want to go potty you want to go poop and this dog just stopped and just you want to go poop you want to go potty <laughs> so fucking cute how can rhyme look hilarious in everything he does that's why he's a banger content creator dude uh speaking of Dino in every picture. I feel like, I feel like, I don't know what it is, man. But something about that first picture is just so weird. But this was the original picture I was gonna post. I posted this on my Instagram. This was gonna be the original picture that I took. Because this, for this angle, it just looked so much more badass. But I was like, all right, well, I feel like the other picture would bang a little bit harder based on like background and stuff like that. But this picture, I thought the other picture went hard, but this picture kind of looks hard. Holy perspective. Yeah, this perspective makes it look like I'm normal size and they're fucking titans, dude. Like from Shingeki no Kyojin, man. Like these guys are absolutely... Those guys. They are absolutely gonna need some 3D maneuver gear on them. Slice the fuck up, dude. Like these guys look massive, but realistically, I'm just short. The POV just looks great. Cinna took these photos and uh, honestly, it was a good time. All right. Now you guys remember that story? You guys remember that story of uh, me getting gas at the beginning of my trip? All right. Good job for holding on to that thought, you guys. We've now reached the end of this talk because I explained to you guys my Disneyland problem. I'm gonna get, I'm going to present the worst night of my life featuring Unibunny. All right, so I leave Dino's house and I'm just like, all right, we're, we're good to go. I'm gonna leave now. Bye everybody. I hope you guys, you know, have a good day. We're saying our goodbyes, Cinna leaves, Thunder leaves cause they're about to leave at like 3 a.m. in the morning. All right, Dino said he's gonna be up playing Valorant. He's like, just text me whenever you get home. I'm like, sure, no problem, dude. I'm driving, I'm driving, and I look at my gas. My gas is honestly, like, about maybe a little bit more than halfway done. Like, or halfway, right? So I'm just like, all right, I don't need to fill up right now. Especially because I know that this is going to be super expensive. In bigger cities and stuff like this, I know this shit's going to be expensive. I'm going to wait maybe till I hit a smaller town, and that way I'll fill up. I'm like, sounds good. And I have enough gas. So I'm driving and I'm driving and I'm driving. 
I'm about maybe two and a half hours out at this point. Two and a half hours. I want you guys to keep that in mind, okay? Two and a half hours out. And I look and I'm like, my gas is at this part where it's not like, you guys know when your gas light is not out yet or like not up, but you can tell and you just know. You just know you're about to run out because you look and you know your car well enough. You know your car. So you're just like, okay, I probably have about like, by guesstimating and eyeballing this shit, you have about 50 miles. I just know. So I'm like, all right. Hey there, soldier. Welcome in. So I just look and I'm just like, okay, I, my light's not on yet. I'm going to go ahead and drive a little bit more and push it. I go a little further out. My, my gas is already really low. And then I'm like, all right, cool. I go and pull over to a gas station and I'm looking for my wallet and I'm looking in my pack, my bag. This is, this is my bag. Okay. This is my purse. I look nothing. I have three pockets, nothing. Okay. Another pocket, nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. And then I go, let me find out where this shit is. I tear my car inside fucking out. I tear my car apart. I literally like open all the drawers. I open the middle compartment, everything. I'm crawling underneath. Where the fuck is my wallet? I call Dino. Hey man, do you happen to have my wallet? And he goes, let me look. And he's looking around and he's looking at his eyes. No, it's not here. I'm like, that's crazy. There's no way. So he's like, all right, well, let me take another look. He goes inside Kayla's car. And he goes, BB, I found it. It was in Kayla's car. It fell out. My wallet had fallen out. And I'm about two and a half hours away with no gas. So I'm like, hold on. Oh, hold on, you can't tell me that you have it right now because my light's not on yet, but I don't think I can exactly make it about two hours back. So I texted him. I'm like, okay, Dino, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to drive as much as I possibly can in that area, right? Towards your direction. I'm just going to go ahead and drive as far as I can. And I get about to where Disneyland's at before my car, I'm starting to feel chug a little bit. And I'm like, all right, this has never done this before. And I noticed that like my lights have been on for maybe 30 minutes now. I was driving for about an hour on fumes, chat. An hour on fumes. I drive an hour back anxiety ridden, hoping that I don't break down on the freeway. I'm just driving back as far as possible. And then I'm like, holy shit. I don't know what the fuck to do. I text Rhyme and I'm just like, hey, I don't know what's happening. He responds 30 minutes later because I think he's playing Valorant or something. And I'm just like, I don't know what to do. But at that point, I thought he had fallen asleep because he didn't respond right away. And I was like, oh my God, I, I'm stranded. I call Thunder, he's asleep. I know Senna wakes up in two hours, so I'm not gonna call her if she's trying to sleep. I call Kayla and I don't think it goes through. And I'm just like, okay, I'm like losing reception all of a fucking sudden. And then I'm like, I don't know what to do. Rhyme finally calls back. And he's like, wait, I think Uni lives nearby. And I'm like, it's 3 a.m. I'm not going to bother. He was just like, well, I don't know what to do. And I'm just like, I, I call Uni on Discord. So Uni Bunny, that this amazing woman in my chat, that's Uni Bunny. I call her and I'm just like, Uni, I need help. I'm surprised she picked up because it was on Discord at 3 a.m. It was on Discord at 3 a.m. because I had lost her awesome. number because I had gotten a new phone, right? And I'm just like, that raise, dude. I, I had no idea if she was going to pick up or not. So I call her and she picks up for some fucking reason. And I'm just like, Uni. And I explain to her the situation and I tell her what's going on. And Uni goes, I don't think I can help you. And I'm like, that's fine. I completely understand. Like, you don't have to help me at all. Like, that's fine. I just, I always just try to figure that out. So she's like, I can't help you because I can't drive right now. Like, she's like, I don't have my license on me. Like, I can't drive at the moment. And I'm just like, that's cool. That's fine. 
but she does help me through it. She helps me through the entire process. So I'm on call with her. She's securing me and she's like, call your insurance, call all these places. She gives me the number. She does everything. Cause she's like, I would love to fucking, <laughs> it vibrated on my face and just woke me up. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. Yeah, she, she got her wallet stolen. So she didn't have her uh, ID on her. So I did not want her to drive at all. Because I was like, dude, like this is, this is gonna be bad on you. So then I call my insurance company because Uni's like, go call him. She gives me the number. So I'm like, that's fine, that's fine. So I call my insurance company. They didn't pick up. I call them again and they send me to this automated thing. And then in which it tells me I need to sign up and ask for help online. I log on, like this whole process was taking 30 minutes, which is why when Rhyme, if Rhyme ever tells a story, he's gonna tell you, BB, I tried to get a hold of her, but she would not respond to me for 30 minutes because this is what I was doing for 30 minutes. I was calling everything, maybe towing services. I was calling my insurance company only for my insurance company to finally get back to me after 30 minutes and say, your policy says that roadside assistance is not covered. You're fucking telling me that this whole fucking time that I was talking to you guys, this entire 30 minute span where you guys are collecting my number, everything about me, everything. And you're just like, okay, well, we'll send somebody out on the way. And they're like, we can't help you. So I call uni back and mind you, here's where I'm at. I'm basically at Disneyland, right? Like in the area of Disneyland. I'm not too far from Disneyland. I'm in that city. So I call uni back. But, but the weird thing is I'm in this area. That's just like really low key sketchy. Like nobody's around. And the only thing that kept happening, it was like really fucking scary trap because there were cars just in that lot that would randomly turn on. And I think people were in them. I don't know if they were waiting for me to get out. Like I was fucking dead ass terrified. This was at 3 a.m. This was at 3 a.m. And there were just people waiting and just there. And like no one was getting out of their fucking cars. It was just fucking terrifying, dude. So I call uni and I'm like, dude, it's fine if you can't help me, but I'm letting you know because she said update me on the situation. And I was like, yeah, so here's the situation. She goes, she bites down and she's just like, and I feel so bad for this. She goes, I don't have my license, but I'm going to go. And I'm just like, uni, do not do this. So I was planning on probably getting like an Uber and like taking me an hour and a half more. And she goes, no, like, I'm just going to go. So she drives to me. She like, she did not have to do this. She was like maybe 30 minutes out so she drove to me only for me to get like ten dollars or fifteen dollars worth of gas and then like because i didn't want to take too much of her money right like like i didn't want to take too much i felt really bad i think it was like 30 i don't i don't remember but i took money and i was just like uni thank you so much oh my god thank you so uni goes and she's fucking tired and mind you chat the thing that broke me the most was when I the next day saw that Uni tweeted that she fucked up her sleep schedule. And I'm like, I kept you up! I was the one who did this! I was so sad, dude. I was so fucking sad when I saw that. Cause she was like, yeah, my sleep schedule's fucked. I was like, it's my fault! It's me! <laughs> so then I drive and I tell Dino, I'm like, hey, um... I'm going to be on my way. I literally... So, the this, this story does not get any better, chat. If you guys think that there's th this is resolution. I want you guys to know I am hours away from where I live to San Diego. Hours away. So, I'm not even there yet. I finally get... Have enough gas to make it back to Dino's house. And at this point, he had knocked out because he had, like... He was... I wasn't responding. He had knocked out. And I was like, yeah, that's cool. My, I'm, I'm, my, my bad. So... I go ahead and pick up, thanks for the uh, hydrate, Snorlax. I go ahead and pick up my wallet because he had left it outside in like this little box and stuff. And I was like, all right, cool. I get my wallet and I leave, right? Cause I didn't want to, I didn't want to impede and be just like, hey, I'm gonna stay the night here. You guys are gonna need to make room for me. It's fucking 3.30 AM, like 3 AM. Um, and I'm just like, I arrived to his house like around 3 a.m. I think I was stuck at like 2 a.m. and I get to his place at 3. And I'm just like, oh, I don't want to be that person. I was going to sleep like in, you know, somewhere nearby. But I was like, no, I think I can chuck through. I can I can just drive all the way home right now. A few, four to five hours, I'm good. So I'm like, I'm fine, I'm fine. So I go ahead and drive, right? 
I drive. Drive, 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 drive. And around maybe two hours out, I start to feel sleepy. I'm tired. And I'm like, I'm in the middle of fucking nowhere. I'm two hours away from Dino. I'm out three hours away from home. I'm in the middle of fucking nowhere right now. So I pull over and I'm finding rest stops. I'm trying to keep my eyes awake because it's th like 4 a.m. at this point. 4 a.m. So I'm going and finding every rest stop to exist. And here's the best part, chat. I forgot to tell my friends this. But it took me three rest stops. I did not know that this was possible. But did you know rest stops could get full? That no parking would be available because everyone's doing the same shit that I was doing? So I find a rest stop. I pull over, right? I find a parking. No one's leaving. I'm like, okay, maybe if I wait for five minutes. And I'm like, oh, no one's going to leave because they're all asleep. So I'm like, okay, well, you turn out. Okay. I drive for another 15 minutes. I'm trying to find another rest stop. Ah, here's another one. Turns into the rest stop. Parking. Parking? Parking. No? So no parking. I go ahead and pull over. And I keep driving. And I'm sitting there and I'm just like, holy shit. This is the worst night of my fucking life. I thought I had it bad, like throwing up on the side because I've gotten extremely drunk. But I'm like, it never turns out as bad as it is. Nothing's as bad as you're alone, you're stranded. You're about hours away from both destinations in which you could rest. I didn't have enough money to like get a hotel or anything like that. And I'm just like, so I find finally after the third time, I'm not even kidding, man. After the third rest stop. I finally waited. I was like, I'm too tired to go ahead and drive to another rest stop. So I wait for about 15 fucking minutes and I camp out at this part, like at the spot. And I'm just waiting for people to fucking get up and leave. And then the car finally leaves and at 4 a.m. I finally get to sleep. 4 a.m. chat, 4.30 a.m. I get my car, I get, I'm like in my car, I'm just like, holy shit, man, I, I really, I really found a fucking place to fucking sleep. I pull over, right, trucks we everywhere. Know, we know, we know, we know. What? What? Uh, hey. Wiener? Yes, hey. Hey, hey, M. Oh my Big god. Animated titties. Yes. Yes. I agree. They're gone now, but I agree. Anyway. So for some reason, if you guys did not know. Cook! I'm living a lie. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Rhyme! <laughs> Rhyme! Thank you for the, the gift and what the fuck, dude! Thank you! Holy shit! Oh my god! Thanks, um, honestly, anime titties were cool, but you you didn't need to do that, man. Thank you. Uh, just the thought of anime titties really just filled me up from the inside, but thank you. Holy shit. Holy fuck, man. Thank you. Holy fuck. Thank you. <laughs> I'm broken, dude. Thank you, Ryan. Seriously. Hold on. I gotta, I gotta shout out the good old rim still, man. Thank you, dude. Okay, so now let me tell you guys the rest of the story, all right? You guys better have seen this every time. Let me see. The, no, you think that the story is done, but the story, like, progressively still keeps going. The story keeps going. It's not done. It's not done, chat. So, 4.30 a.m. I'm finally here, and there's this dude just walking around, checking out cars, and like being weird. And I'm like, maybe you're just someone trying to get some fresh air. You're probably someone from these cars. And at that point, I singularly did not give a fuck. I put on my blinders, and I like cover like the window in front of me. And I'm just like, I don't give a shit at this point, right? I'm having severe anxiety right now because honestly, you could break into my car and like probably try to kidnap me because I'm really small. So these are the, the thoughts of like a small person that's really vulnerable that might have the possibility to get kidnapped at any time. Like, yeah, you guys can make fun of me, but like there's like legit dangers that come with being four foot seven as a woman. It's kind of terrifying. So I'm just like, all right, 
I'm already on high alert. I probably can't sleep well. And not only that, I'm really uncomfortable. I fit in the back, kind of, right? Like, my body's, like, not small enough to fit in the whole back seat. But it's big enough that I can, like, crunch in there for a little bit. So I sit in the back, and I'm just like, my neck really fucking hurts because I've been up for, like, hours and on, it, on end. So I'm like, how do I get comfortable? I'm freezing because I... I don't want to go and like turn on my car and like waste any more gas and like fuck up my car even more. And I'm just like, all right, I'm just going to sleep cold. And I gr I'm like, all right, 30 more minutes pass or like 10 more minutes pass. And I'm like, I can't do this. So I go ahead and I'm just like, how do I make this more comfortable? I grab the only pillow in my car. And that's my fart pillow. I say this with authenticity because who the fuck doesn't fart in their fucking car seat, right? crazy a woman does it right so i have a pillow that i sit on when i drive to elevate me yes crazy four foot seven woman needs yellow pages needs fucking shit for her to sit on in order for her to fucking get around and see and not hit things yeah anyway i call it my fart pillow because what else is it you sit on it and you do what it is so anyway i'm not i'm not selling fart jars but there's a fart pillow that exists anyway i call it that so i have my pillow that i sit on right uh, in my car, and I'm like, this is the only fucking thing. I call it that because I want you guys to know that I was so sad when I had to, like, put my head on it, man. I flipped it around, and I'm just like, at least my butt wasn't on this side. So I go ahead and lay down, and I'm just, like, crying on the inside because I'm just like, man, this pillow doesn't smell because it's air, right? I'm cool, but, like, someone's probably outside. I'm fucking freezing, and I'm using my fart pillow as a fucking pillow. This is terrible. I finally knock out. Regardless of my anxiety, I wake up. At guess what time? Bright and early, 7.30. I get three and a half hours of sleep. Like, three hours of sleep. Because I'm just like, dude. I, I usually am the type of person, when the sun is up, I'm up. That's just me. So it's 7.30 a.m., and I'm like exhausted. I'm just like, oh my God, only three hours left on this fucking drive. I get up and I finally leave. And uh, it's like that party when like you get up and no one's there. And I was the only like person in the lot for some fucking reason. Like people get up and leave at like 5 a.m. so that they can keep driving. I was one of the only few cars in that lot now. So I was like, all right, cool. I get up and leave. And then I realize I'm basically near LA. So I'm like, fuck traffic so it elongates from like a two and a half hour drive to like a three and a half to four hour drive at that point because it's at 8 a.m when people are trying to get to work in la so the freeway's backed up and i'm there i'm trying not to fucking die and i'm like dying trying to stay awake hungry as hell and i'm just like we're gonna make it we're, we're gonna fucking make it baby so after pushing through everything my car is finally alive. I have enough gas. I passed LA traffic. It is now 11 a.m. I get the fuck back home exactly on the dot. And I sit there. Do I go live? No. I don't fucking go live. And I knock the fuck out and that was my day. So yeah, that was, uh, that was my Thursday chat. Thanks for listening to the story. That was my story. Anyway, chat. I hope you guys appreciate it. I'm uh, experiencing my dumbassery through these stories. I was like, this is going to make a fire story. But like, living this life, being in this, was hell. Aren't you supposed to leave soon today? I am. I am leaving in like maybe a bit. Uh, I just wanted to talk about this and let you guys know what the fuck was happening to me. We're happy you're alive. Thanks, dude. So... Chat, it, moral of the story, just don't be a dumbass. Okay, that's that's it. If you can if you can get anything from this one single story, don't be a dumbass. If you can get gas, get gas. Especially when you're about to drive five hours away. Like, that's it. Anyway, yeah, I'm I'm still here. I'm still here, chat. But anyway, uh update chat, if you guys did not already know this, you guys have hella new emotes. Like hella new emotes. So I got back and then that same day I just went ahead when I said when I slept I got up and I started working on emotes and stuff so I, the grind doesn't stop the grind doesn't stop I was like I'm not providing any content because chat hear me out I I currently do not have an amazing camera which is why it'd be amazing 
that once we hit the sub goal, not only do you guys get a fire video from this entire experience, you guys also will have more vlog streams from me and like more vlog videos because by then I'll probably have a really cool camera and like maybe you guys can see things from my perspective. I would have vlogged that entire thing, man. I would have vlogged that entire experience, but I honestly didn't want to do it on the shitty Android quality. The guy never stopped for real, for real. Yeah. Wait, that time you were on Discord call doing emotes was literally... Yeah, that was right after, and I didn't want to tell you guys because I wanted to save the story for stream. I wanted to go ahead. Because, like, I was like, yeah. Because I think, like, some people in chat were in my Discord, like, hanging out with me. And they're like, BB, you're kind of quiet. I'm like, yeah, I'm just tired. I'm just tired. When I tell you guys, I'm able to, like, hold myself down and, like, not really talk about myself much. It's a lot. It's a lot I hold in sometimes. I'm just like, yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. It's fine. It's fine. But I wanted to save the story for stream so you guys could all hear it. So yeah, there you go. Potato cam is fine for vlogs. I mean, it's cool. I d it's definitely cool, but I would rather you guys have good quality. So anyway, chat, here's, here's the kicker. Dino messages me at like 8 a.m. And he's just like, this is like me driving already. Like I'm, I'm already driving. Dino's like, why didn't, why didn't you stay here? And I'm just like, because I didn't want to. He's just like, why? Why? And I'm just like, I, I, was, I was not feeling tired at the moment. I really wasn't. I was like, I'm going to make this five-hour drive chat, and it's going to be perfectly fine. I'm going to be fine. And he goes, why? You literally could have stayed here. I know. I know I could have. I, it just, it's not in my nature to just ask people. Be like, can I crash? I got this. I got this. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I need to learn to ask for help, chat, because something about me, like, is just like, I get, I got this. I don't know if it's like, I never want to impose on people because I'm just like, if you're, if, if it's 3 a.m. and you're asleep, it's not going to be likely that I ask you for help, which is why it was far fetched for me to ask Uni for any kind of help. But yeah, I'll probably do the same thing though. I'm just like, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm good. So yeah. And that was the that was the whole kicker was the fact that I could have stayed at Dino's place and probably slept, had a good morning, did not need to spend like two more hours in purgatory hell trying to fucking get back. It was terrible. So yeah, there you go, chat. That's that's the full story. That's the story that you're probably not gonna hear from anyone because that was my perspective. That was a problem on my end. So for some reason, everyone ended up hearing about the story in my friend group. And uh, I'm just kidding. Yeah, for some reason, you know, I've always been that dumbass. I've been that idiot. I've always been that stupid. But like this, for some reason, it brought my elevation of stupid up this high. In which is crazy because they're like, BB, uh -huh, aim higher. I'm like, you mean in stupid level? I got you. Boom. I thought the Disneyland shit was bad, man. But then that shit like topped it up. So if you guys want pure idiotic content for the sub for the sake of someone not doing it for the bit but because they're purely stupid you found her she's right here pure dumbassery <laughs> so question is your wallet still over at his place no fantastic thing enough i have this baby right here man it's fucking baby this is my wallet bro like i had a simple fucking wallet like it's right here i got it back I got it back, so wonderful time, chat. Uh, don't lose your wallet. Don't be a dumbass. Have a good time today. I will be, um, I won't be live to tomorrow, but I will be live on Monday. So you guys will see me on Monday. But what you guys can do, if you guys want to see more of me today, why don't you guys pop up to Horny Bell's stream. I'm going to leave right now. I think maybe in about three hours or so. I don't know how long it's going to take for me to get there, but I will be there. So yeah. So I've been driving in Omaha Friday morning, rush hour traffic while rowing off at the wheel with eyes crossing dead tired. That's basically what I was going through. Um, it was absolutely dog shit, man. It was dog shit. So anyway, chat, I'm going to go ahead and uh, end stream. I just wanted to say what's up and tell you guys what happened to me. We'll talk more, okay? We'll talk more on Monday, but I at least wanted to update you guys with my life. I wanted to at least let you guys know that I'm okay. And if you guys hear anything about me, you know, about me dying and shit and being dead, you can probably just assume dudes is like, damn, so BB might have left her low wallet. She probably didn't read something correctly. Something. 
something. If anything happens to me in the future, just know that any of my, like, I just have this idea in my head that I'm just gonna die stupid. Like, I'm literally gonna fuck myself over accidentally somehow. So, I love you guys. I will see you guys later. I'm gonna drop you guys off and we're gonna raid over. Um, actually, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna raid over. I think she's going live in 30 minutes, but I should be there maybe like three hours or so. I still have to like fill up my gas tank so that I don't fuck this up again and then drive to spend another hundred dollars. Oh my God, chat. You guys want to see the funniest fucking picture of my life, dude? I think I saw this picture the other day um, because I was getting gas. This was literally the morning of after I had filled up. Um, I certainly know this was, I think, literally yesterday. I filled up again. Look at this picture. <laughs> I thought this was super funny. Someone just had a fucking sticker of Biden. <laughs> That's all me. I did that. Crazy enough, it didn't really take much for my tank to I fill up. To What's up, Bonini? Welcome into the stream. And uh, this is this is how that picture went. Oh yeah, this is from the other POV. That's that picture. I don't think I took anything else. Honestly, I didn't take too much stuff. I didn't really- My shit was just not vlog worthy. Like, just not vlog worthy at all. Oh yeah, fun fact. Um, somewhere inside these secret bottles, uh, there is a word that says boobies. And I drew this myself. So if you go into a museum of cannibalism and you find boobies, I left that. That was me. I did that. Thanks, dude. I'm so original. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, I found out that Tom Holland was also a cannibal. Or at least a Tom Holland, um, ancestor look-alike. Uh, is definitely a cannibal at some point in their life. What else did I discover, chat? Oh my god! Wait, how did I forget about this? Wait! There's one more thing. There's one more thing. So, funny enough, Rhyme Style ordered a really cool suit. Cause he, he's like a Spider-Man fan, as am I, right? You guys have seen my graduation photos for my bachelors. Um, I walked out, how I quit in and out it was in my Spider-Man suit, right? Rhyme Style had recently ordered the PlayStation Spider Suit outfit. And he was like, man, I'm so excited. It comes in and he does this gesture of like looking at it and he's like, this is not gonna fit. This is not gonna fit at all. And he goes, this is like a kid size. So he goes, all right, well, I'm just, you know, it wasn't so much, but like maybe it's going to cost more for shipping. So I'm just going to hold on to this. He's like, I got no reason for it, but it's just going to rot in my house. So he has the suit. I come over and he goes, BB, I want you to try something on. And I'm just like, what? So, <laughs> so I walk out and <laughs> this is how it looks. This is, this is, this is the outfit. <laughs> this is the outfit, chat. Um, Thunder had caught this POV, uh, which, uh, for some reason, I feel so wronged because honestly, it's like, I feel like a Spider-Man just unmasked. Um, so yeah. <laughs> so I now have an extra Spider-Man suit, chat. I now have this, this shit is in my trunk. Um, I'm going to go ahead, so if I ever play, like, the PlayStation series, um, I'm gonna go ahead and wear this fucking suit, man. It's, it's done. Badini, thank you so much for the resub, dude. For 15 months, holy shit! Thank you! Yo, can we pet the mods, chat? Can we pet Bonini? She's amazing. Um, nice suit, though. Thank you, Tyler. I look like I was caught in the middle of, like, I don't know, like, I, I was just caught off guard here, man. Honestly. This was, this was a good picture. So yeah, chat, I, I can't believe I almost missed out on some crucial information. Crucial. Also, another thing. One more, one more tiny thing. Not really tiny. Well, technically really tiny. I know you guys can never tell, but I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this and be as honest as possible right now, chat. I want you guys to understand. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm four foot fucking seven. Okay? If I say anything along the lines of, I'm not. Just go along with it, okay? Just, just go along with it, okay? We're friends, right? We're friends, right, chat? We, we know each other, we're pretty close. You guys know about me, I know about you. Cool. 
Let's go along with it. Okay, if I say I'm like 5'9", 6'9", yeah, BB, BB 6'9". Okay. You're never gonna hear that from me again. I will always redirect you to my fucking bio if you're gonna ask me how tall I am. And if I wanna be genuine that day, I'm not gonna say it again. Okay, I want you guys to go ahead and hold on to this very moment. Okay, cherish that. The moment in which I actually say my legitimate height on stream. Crazy. I know I don't look it because the camera zoomed the fuck in. I know I don't look it because this desk is lowered. I know I don't look it because this chair is a kid's size. If you guys didn't know, this chair has little feeties on it. Little feeties. I could put my foot on this because it's meant for children. If you guys did not know that, now you do. You've been living a lie this whole time. I know. The BB Smalls immersion might be over, but I want you guys to understand that maybe, just maybe, the immersion doesn't have to be over just yet. You can go ahead and just... Okay, now honestly, I might get cooked on my friends' stream, okay? Honestly, personally, on Sinna stream. Probably, more than likely. I'll probably get cooked on Sinna stream. Because I did, I did bully her for like an entire six months. So I think it's time for her to kick back at me. Ever since that first time she saw me, she realized, yeah, you're short. And Essie, thank you. Had us in again, Jutsu? I know, dude. Camera zoomed in, everything's lowered. It's almost like I don't show my door. My cats, they're really small. So like, I look up to size with them. Why did you bully her for like six months? Because I called her short because she was 5'4". Knowing damn well I'm 4'7". I'm just like... Chat! Chat! Look, Sina! Sina's short! They go like... And everyone's like, Oh, Sina is short! Oh! Dude, I want you guys to know Sina was getting cooked so hard when I wasn't there. And then when I showed up... The fucking Uno reverse was so hard. The Uno reverse slapped me the fuck in the face. It was terrible. You gotta marry an NBA player to give your child a chance. At this point, anything's possible. All right, chat. BB, you got cooked and said, I know, man. I love you guys. I'll be back on Monday, okay? I took a nice break this week, but you guys got emotes out of this. You guys have a new sub goal. 500, I'm gonna show you guys the most embarrassing video of my life. There you go. All right, chat. I'm gonna go ahead, and that sub goal is gonna exist for as long as fucking possible, man. If you guys hit it within this month, that'd be a banger. Uh, if you guys don't hit it within next month, it'd still be a banger. It's fine. Um, if we hit 500 subs on Twitch, I'll show you guys an old embarrassing video of mine. Yep, there it is. I don't know how to. I'm gonna find out how to put like a sub goal number, cause I'm new to OBS. I've been using slobs for like my whole life, so I'm gonna go ahead and figure that out. Monday, you'll probably be able to see it. All right, chat. Uh, and also, if you guys want to join the community art stream, join my Discord. Uh, maybe tomorrow you guys might be able to see, if not on Monday, you guys are for sure going to see a sign-up sheet uh, for you guys to participate in like the Discord or like the call for the community art stream. So you guys can be here, right? We're gonna have like a call and then we're gonna show chat how to draw and shit. Uh, I can show you off stream, it's super simple. Okay, bet, 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 bet. Uh, I will go ahead and the fuck is live? Who is la 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 live? I am going to send you all to, you know, I feel like we've had a stressful day. I think it's time for all of us to go ahead and unwind and maybe stare at some bunnies. I feel like you guys have been staring at cats, so I'm going to keep the consistency theme, okay, chat? Um, you're going to go ahead and enjoy yourselves. Have a wonderful time. Look at this bunny. Look at this bunny stream. I'm just gonna literally stare at bunnies chat. Just, just look at bunnies. It's gonna be a good time. I love you guys. Bye. Have a good day. Thanks for being here. Bye. Bye.